Now let us look at the question which is already, I have written it on the board. A man invests rupees 7770 in a company paying 5% dividend when a share of nominal value of rupees 100 sells at a premium of rupees 5. Find number 1, the number of shares bought, the annual income and percentage income. So, after going through the question, first let us find out what is the information that is available in the question. Okay, so let us note down the information available in the question is a man invests rupees 7770 that is a total investment is given. So write total investment that is rupees 7770. The total investment is given then paying 5% dividend. So dividend percent is 5%. Dividend is equals to 5%. When a share of nominal value of rupees 100, nominal value means the face value. So the face value is equals to rupees 100 sells at a premium of rupees 5. That is, this is selling, the share is selling at a premium. So what is the market value? Market value is 100 plus 5, and that is equals to rupees 105 so this much of information is available with us in the question now we need to see what is being asked in the question in uh, let us the first part is the number of shares purchased now to find the number of shares purchased we know the total investment total investment is the total market value that is 7770 and we have to know the market value of one share because we purchase the shares on the market value so here we have the market value as 105 so if you take the ratio of the total investment and the market value of one share we get the total number of shares am i clear then annual income that is income if you find first you find the income on one share now income is calculated on the face value the dividend the profit is always calculated on the face value so dividend is given as 5%. So 5% of rupees 100 is the income on one share. Then if you multiply the income on one share on one share with the total number of shares that you have already found in the part one of this question, we get the annual income. Now when we get the annual income, the third part of the question asks for the percentage income. The percentage income is calculated on the market value or on the total investment. So it can be calculated either by the two formulas I have already mentioned that is income on one share divided by the market value of one share into 100 or you can write total income by total investment into 100 that will give you the income percent or the profit percent or you can say dividend percent or yield percent rate of return so many things so since we have got this information so let us proceed to solve the question one by one all the parts so i have to rub it <coughs> so now the first part is the number of shares first part is number of shares number of shares is equals to total investment by the market value of one share total investment is 7770 and market value of one share is 105 and that is coming to let me see the answer i don't 74 so 74 is the total number of shares being purchased in this <coughs> question now second is annual income so first we will find out the income on one share income on one share will be how much the dividend percent of the face value that is five percent of face value is rupees hundred that is equals to five by hundred into hundred that is equals to rupees Five. So rupees five is the income on one share. Once here, so the annual income is five 
annual income will be the income on one year multiplied by the total number of shares. So what is the income on one share? That is rupees five, and total number of shares is seventy four. So three hundred and seventy rupees is the annual income. Now the third part of this question is. Of third part of the question is percentage income. Now, what is the percentage income? So, income on one share, how much is this? Five divided by the market value. One zero five multiplied by hundred. So, it is coming to five four point seven six. So this is the question. I hope you have understood it very clearly. Because in the first part of the question, asking for the total number of shares, the total number of shares you get by the total investment by the investment of one share. That is market value of one share. Once you know the investment, now uh, total number of shares. Now you need to find the income on one share. That multiplied by the total number of shares gives you the annual income. Now annual income divided by the total investment gives you. The into hundred will give you the rate of return. That is the income percent. Okay. So now we move on to the question. Next question. That is question number eight. A man buys rupees fifty shares of a company, paying twelve percent dividend at a discount of ten percent. <clears throat> Find the market value of three hundred and twenty shares. His annual income and his profit percent. So, as usual, is just note down the information given in the question. So, first the information given. <clears throat> A man buys rupees fifty shares. Rupees fifty shares. That means the face value of each share is rupees fifty. Of a company paying twelve percent dividend. So, dividend percent is given. Dividend percent is twelve percent. Obviously, it will be calculated on the face value, and at a discount of ten percent. So, discount, discount is equals to ten percent of rupees fifty. That is ten by hundred into fifty. That is five rupees. So, this is the amount of discount on the market value. So, market value is equals to fifty. T minus five. That is equals to rupees forty-five. So rupees forty-five is the market value of each share. Now also one more information that is the market value of three twenty shares. So number of shares is also known to us that is three hundred and twenty. So what is the market value of three twenty shares? The market value of one share we got forty-five. Okay. So therefore, number part one. MV of Three hundred and twenty shares is equals to market value of one share is forty-five into the total number of shares. So the answer I have to check one four four zero zero one double four zero zero. So this is the total number of shares being purchased. Uh, whose market value is rupees forty five and number of shares is three hundred and twenty. Second part of the question is is annual income. Now again, annual income that is income has to be calculated first income on one share, which is to be calculated on the face value. So income on one share. And that is equals to twelve percent of the face value. That is fifty. Twelve by hundred into fifty. That is two six rupees. So income on one share is rupees six. So now what is his annual income? That is income on one share multiplied by the total number of shares gives you the annual income. <coughs> so from here we move on to this. So annual income. Is equals to income on one share that is rupees six into total number of shares is three hundred and twenty. So that is one nine two zero. 
So 1920 is the annual income and now the third part of the question is profit percent. So profit is again as I told you to be calculated percentage, profit percent to be calculated on the market value. So that is the uh, income on one share divided by the market value into 100. So number 3. <coughs> profit percent that is income on one share what is the income on one share rupees 6 what is the market value no market value is rupees 45 in 200 so this profit percent comes to 13 1 by 3 percent So this is your profit percent. So it is very similar to the previous question. Now we move on to the next question. So the next question here is question number 9. How much should a man invest? should a man invest <coughs> in rupees 50 shares selling at rupees 60 selling at rupees 60 to obtain An annual income of rupees hundred. Rupees nine hundred. If the dividend declared, if the dividend declared is fifteen percent. So now let us look at the question. How much should a man invest in rupees 50 shares selling at rupees 60 to obtain an annual income of rupees 900 and the dividend declared is 15%. So you need to find the total investment. Now mind it. You are given the total income. The annual income is 900. Now how you find the annual income that you have to keep it in mind. Annual income is how much? income on one share multiplied by the total number of shares so what you need to find the total number of shares and income on one share so first of all let us note down what is given in the question uh, face value invest in rupees equals to rupees 50 market value equals to rupees 60 rupees 50 shares selling at rupees 60 this is the market value to obtain an annual income on a dividend. Dividend is given as 15%. Now, we are not given anything else. So this is and the annual income. So now what you can assume, it, you assume that the total investment is rupees x. So let's assume let the total investment be equals to rupees x. So this is the total investment. Now how you find the number of shares? The number of shares is total investment divided, it means total market value divided by the market value of one share. So the number of shares. What is the number of shares? The total market value, that is the total investment, x divided by the market value of one share and that is 60. So this happens to be the number of shares. Total investment by investment on one share, that is the total number of shares. Now, since you are given the total income, so you need to find the income on one share. If you multiply with this, you get the total income. So, what is the income on one share? So, 
income on one share is 15% of face value. So 15% of rupees 50. So that is 15 by 100 into 50. Seven point five. So income on one share is rupees seven point five. Then what is the income of on this? So I just so what is the right now tonight annual income? Annual income is income on one share that is 7.5 multiplied by the total number of shares that is x by 60 right so this is the annual income and that is given as 900 annual income is given as 900 so we have 7.5 into x by 60 is equals to 900 so x will be equals to 60 into 900 we got 7.5 so this we can calculate that is coming to what shall let us speak to it so this is equals to right uh, Eight into ninety. That is seven twenty. What is the answer? Oh, this is nine hundred, right? This is nine hundred. So seven two zero zero is the answer. That is the therefore the total investment. Is equals to rupees seventy two hundred. Right. So, according to the requirement, what is being asked in the question, you need to proceed. You cannot proceed randomly to find anything else. You just have to keep it in mind. Your focus will be on the particular thing which is being asked and what you are provided with in the question. Right. So, this is very important. Do take care of that. So, we move on to the next question now. Next question is A man invests rupees three three six zero in buying shares of nominal value. is 24 and selling at and selling at 12% premium the dividend on the sales on the sales is 15% per annum is 15% per annum calculate number one the number of shares he buys And number two, the annual dividend. Right. 
very simple question it is and again we need to note down what is given here in the question a man invests rupees 3362 that is the total investment is given let us write it down <coughs> so total investment is equals to rupees 3360 in buying shares of nominal value of rupees 24 that is the face value is rupees 24 Face value rupees twenty four. Selling at twelve percent premium. So premium is twelve percent. Equals to twelve percent of twenty four. That is the face value. That is twelve by hundred into twenty four. That is coming to. So the value is coming twelve into twenty-four to eighty-eight. That is two point eight eight. Two point eight eight, and then the market value will be how much? Twenty-four. Plus two point eight eight. So this is twenty six point eight eight. So this is the market value. Now I think uh, it will be better to keep it in fashion. So let's let it be. Let us proceed. Let us see if, if in case in case we feel any difficulty in solving and doing the calculation, then I will think of uh, expressing it as a mixed fraction. Right now. <coughs> so market value we got. Now dividend is also given. Dividend is given as fifteen uh, percent per annum. Now number of shares. So what is the number of shares? Is the total investment? Total investment is three three six zero divided by the market value. That is twenty six point eight eight. Now if we get a whole number, it's okay. That means we are correct. Three three six zero divided by twenty six point eight eight. So you get one twenty five. So the number of shares purchased is equals to one twenty five. Let me check the answer. Yes, it is correct. Now annual dividend. So to find the annual dividend, we need to find the dividend on one share, then multiply it with the number of shares. income on one share is equals to dividend is 15% of the face value now what is the face value 24 so it is 15 by 100 into 24 and that is equals to Point six zero. So annual income is income on one share multiplied by total number of shares, and that is equals to four hundred and fifty. So the annual income is coming to four hundred and fifty. A lot of calculations. So this type of calculation you need to do practice at home very carefully. Mind it. In the examination you cannot take the risk of just taking too much time in solving the questions. So be careful and uh, do a lot of practice in getting the answer in minimum amount of time and the correct answer. Okay. So now we move on to the next question. A 
man buys 20 shares per value rupees 10 number of shares is 20 and per value that is the face value rupees 10 of a company which pays 9% dividend at such a price that he gets 12% on his money now this language is very important to understand a man buys 20 shares per value rupees 10 of a company which pays the company pays 9% dividend that is 9% dividend on his face value and at such a price that he gets 12% on his money that means the rate of return the profit percent that he gets is 12% so profit percent is 12% this is dividend which is to be calculated on the face value then when you calculate your return rate of return or the profit percent dividend percent that is given as 12% so now find the market value of a share so what we do is we need to find the rate of return and that will be equals to 12% so let us first proceed let the market value be equals to rupees x let us assume that the market value is rupees x now what is the number income on one share income on one share is 9% of the face value and face value is rupees 10 that is 9 by 100 into 10 that is equals to 9 by 10 so 9 by 10 is the income on one share so what is the annual income rather in finding the annual income let us find the rate of return or rate of return is income on one share that is 9 by 10 divided by the market value what is the market value x so into 100 this is the rate of return so that is coming to 9 by 10x into 100 and that equals to 90 by x so this is rate of return is 90 by x percent which is given to be here in the question that he gets 12 percent on his money that is the rate of return is 12 percent so rate of return here is 90 by x percent so that means if you compare this to then 90 by x is equals to 12 so we get x equals to 90 by 12 7.5 rupees so the market value is 7.50 just we have a look once again to this particular question a man buys 20 shares per value rupees 10 20 number of shares is 20 and the face value is rupees 10 of a company which pays 9% dividend that's 9% dividend is paid on the face value that we have calculated that is income on one share that is dividend on one share is 9 by 10 at such a price that he gets 12% on his money now when he gets the income when he has the income then he calculate the rate of return that rate of return is given as 12% so here in the question you assume the market value to be x now first you calculate the income on one share that is 9% that is the dividend percent of the face value that is coming to 9 by 10 now rate of return is the income on one share divided by the market value that you already know in 200 and that comes to 90 by x percent so this is the rate of return or the income percent or the profit percent and this profit percent or the rate of return that is given in the question is 12 percent so if you write if, uh, uh, comparing this so 90 by x will be equal to 12 so x finally get is 7.50 that means the market value of the share is 7.50 and what is the face value rupees 10 that means what it is available at a discount okay now look have you look at this we we'll move on to the next question a man owns 560 rupees 25 shares 560 is the total number of shares rupees 25 shares at rupees 30 that means face value is rupees 25 market value rupees 30 of a company so the man owns 560 numbers of shares face value rupees 25 market value rupees 30 if the rate of interest on his investment is 7.5 percent 
you have to understand this language. What is the meaning of the rate of interest on his investment? So what you get when you talk about the rate of return, that is called the rate of investment. That is you get the return on your investment and when you calculate your profit percent, that is the rate of return, we calculate it on the market value. So this is actually the rate of interest on his investment is 7.5%. That is your rate of return or the profit percent or the dividend percent given as 7.5%. So find the rate of dividend declared by the company. So you need to find the rate of dividend which is calculate dividend which is calculated on the face value. So let us assume let the rate of dividend be equals to x percent. Here we have the face value rupees 25, market value rupees 30 and the rate of return rate of return and that is equals to 7.5 percent this is the information given in the question so rate let us assume that the rate of dividend is x percent if the rate of dividend is x percent that is what then what is the income on one share what is the income on one share that is the dividend percent of the face value that is x percent of rupees 25 so x by 100 into 25 and that is x by 4 so x by 4 is the income on one share now let us calculate the rate of return Very difficult to manage in such a small tiny atomic board. So let us move from here. Let us find the rate of return. That is income by the market value. So income on one share divided by the market value of one share. So what is the income on one share? X by 4. What is the market value? 30 in 200. Percent. So this is x by 4 into 30 into 100 so 25. So this is 25 by 3 into x, not 25. 4, 4 this is 25. x by 4 into 30 into 100 so this is equals to 25 by 30 into x that is 5 by 6x so 5 by 6x percent is the rate of return which is given to be 7.5 percent so very clear now so 5 by 6x is equals to 7.5 so 5x equals to 6 into 7.5 so we have x is equals to 6 into 7.5 divided by 5 so 6 into 1.5 so this is 9% return that is uh, sorry rate of dividend in the question being asked find the rate of dividend declared by the company so rate of dividend coming to 9 percent now the second part of the question is to find the annual dividend so annual dividend now what is the income on one share income on one share that was How much x percent? 5x x by 4. And what is x? Hmm? 
9 by 4. So this is annual dividend or annual income. This divided, uh, multiplied by the total number of shares. What is the total number of shares? 560. So this is 9 by 4 into 560. The answer I am writing it directly 1 to 6 here. So I think uh, slowly and slowly you are getting into the habit of understanding the questions and how to solve them. So be confident and be optimistic that yes you understood and you can do it. So let us now move on to the next question. Manis sells 60 the number of shares 12 percent rupees 15 shares of a company at rupees 21. 60 is the total number of shares 12 percent is the dividend declared by the company rupees 15 is the face value and rupees 21 is the market value. So Manis sells this much of shares dividend at 12 percent so rupees 15 shares at rupees 21 and invests the proceeds invest the proceeds this word is very important so whatever he gets after selling those that he invests in another company right and invests the proceeds means whatever he receives from the company and uh, after selling and then he invests it in some other company then invest the proceeds in 8 percent rupees 8 shares of a company at rupees 9 so find his change in the original income now when he sells the the first case when he sells 60 shares in this particular condition how much dividend he receives his annual income total income from after selling this number of shares and again he invests the proceed that he receives from after selling those he invests in another company under this condition so we have to find the total income out of this also. The difference of these two will be your the change in the original income. So you need to calculate the annual income under the first condition, then annual income under the second condition. The difference in the two will give you the change in the original income. So let us first case, we will start with the first case. Number of shares is 60. Face value to piece 15, market value to piece 21, dividend is 12 percent. So what you need to find, you have to find the total income. So first of all you need to find the income on one share. income on one share and that is equals to how much 12 percent of the face value that is 15 that is 12 percent of rupees 15 that is 12 by 100 into 15 that is I think 1.8 1 rupees 1 1.8 is the income from one share right so now what is the income from or you can say annual income not income from you say annual income so the annual income is the income on one share multiplied by the total number of shares that is 1.8 into 60 that comes to rupees 108 so 108 is the annual income under the first condition right now he invests the proceeds now what is the sell this is called sale proceed so sale proceeds is equals to how much at what rate he sold market price into the number of sales that is 60 into 21 So this is the sale proceed that means investment for the second condition right 
Sale proceeds is 60 into 21, 60 is the total number of shares, 21 is the market value of one share. So if you multiply this to get the total investment, this is the total investment for the second condition and there we will find the total income. So let us first go to the, for so this first condition I think you note down and then you move to the second condition, second is number of shares is that is you have to find, this is a question mark in this case number of shares you don't know that you have to find. So, face value, the rupees 8 shares of a company at rupees 9. So, face value equals to rupees 8, market value rupees 9. So, number of shares. is the total investment divided by the market value. What is the total investment? That is the sole sale purchase from the proceed from the previous condition, previous case, 1 to 6 euro. Divided by the market value is rupees 9. One forty is the total number of shares purchased in the second case. Now what is the income on one share? So what is the income on one share? The income on one share is dividend is given 8%. So 8% of rupees 8. 8% of the face value. What is the face value? Rupees 8. 8 by 100 into 8 is to 0 0.64. 0 0.64 rupees is the income on one share. Then let us find the income on 140 shares. Or you can write annual income. Income on one share that is 64 uh, 0 0.64 into total number of shares is 140. So this is equals to Eighty nine point six. This is eighty nine point six zero. I think. Uh, are you being okay? One forty. The six. So this is uh, number of income or one set is eight percent of rupees. Face value is eight. So now, what is the change in income? Change in income is previously the income was rupees one zero eight, and now it is eighty nine point six zero. So let us check. Eighteen point four. Question says it is rupees eight shares of a company at rupees nine. Have it. Yeah. Is okay now. So the second case we got the annual income as rupees eighty nine point six zero. Then the difference of the two annual incomes is the change in the original income. So sell proceeds, invest the proceeds, the whatever he gets after selling the shares in the first case is the investment for the second case. The meaning of this is wherever you get. The invest the proceeds that becomes the investment for the second case always remember that so this is one of the important questions just have a look now let us move on to the next question find which is a better investment now first one is five percent at rupees 80 or nine percent at rupees 120 so if you are to make investment under these two conditions, so which one would you prefer to invest? So you are, we as uh, consumers, we invest money and the tendency of investing money or investment lies on the fact 
that we get the maximum return from the company. So if we are to compare these two, so in which particular company, this one or that one, would we invest into? Now, first of all, let me tell you the investment or the performance of a share, we can say the performance of a share, that means which particular investment is better, does not depend on the amount of dividend that the dividend that we calculate that does not depend on the amount of dividend or your earnings. The performance of a share depends on the rate of return that is the profit percent that you get from the company. So your uh, profit percent is actually your, uh, you get on your investment. So the more the rate of return the more better is the company right. So more better will be the investment. So we need to check the rate of return of the two companies which is better. If the rate of return in company A is more than the rate of return in company B, then obviously we will opt for company A where the rate of return we are getting is the more than that of the second. Now in this particular condition, now before getting into the problem solving, uh, we have got two conditions here, 5% at rupees 8 and this is 9% at rupees 120. So here one thing we notice uh, that the face value or the nominal value is not mentioned in the question. If the face value or the nominal value is or the power value is not mentioned in the question, we take it as rupees 100, right? So we will take it as face value equals to rupees 100. Here also we will take face value equals to rupees 100. If in any question the face value as well as the market value both are not given, then we take the face value as rupees 100 and the market value at par that is also rupees 100. Right? And whenever it is written at rupees 80, at rupees 120, so at is preceded by this amount that means this is the market value, right? Okay. Now, if the face value is rupees 100, what is the market value? We take it as rupees 80. Now, what is dividend 5%? Let us find income on one share that is equals to 5% of the face value that is 100 and that is rupees 5. Now, what is the rate of return? Rate of return is income on one share divided by the market value. Income on one share is rupees 5. Market value is rupees 80 in 200. So, this is coming to, let me check, 6. 1 by 4 percent. So, 6 1 by 4 percent. So, the rate of return in the first case is coming to 6 1 by 4 percent. Now, let us check in the second condition. Here, the market value is given rupees 120. So, what is 9 percent? So, income on one share. Income on one share is equal to 9 percent of the face value that is rupees 9 that is 9 by 100 into 100 that is rupees 9 now what is the rate of return rate of return is the income on one share that is rupees 9 divided by the market value that is 120 into 100 so this comes to 7, 1 by 2 percent. So, the rate of return in the first case is 6, 1 by 4 percent. The rate of return in the second case is 7, 1 by 2 percent. So, which one is better? If you compare these two, both obviously the second one, the rate of return is 7, 1 by 2 percent is better investment. So, which is a better investment? That is 9 percent at rupees 120 is a better investment. So, am I clear? 
Now let us see to the next question here. Mr. Sarma receives an annual income of rupees 900 in buying rupees 50 shares, selling at rupees 80. If the dividend is 20%, find the amount invested by Mr. Sarma, the percentage return on his investment. So the first thing is what you want to, what you have to find the amount invested. So amount invested is what is the market value multiplied by the total number of shares. So what is the market value here? So let us note, first of all, the face value is given receives an annual income of rupees 900 in buying rupees 50 shares selling at rupees 80 so this is the face value and the market value is rupees 80 and annual income is given annual income is given to be rupees 900 now dividend is also 20% So the first condition is the amount invested by Mr. Sarma. So amount invested is the market value multiplied by the total number of shares. But in the question, with what we see that the number of shares is not available in the question. So let the number of shares be equals to x. No problem. If it is not given, we assume it as x. Now let us find the income on one share. So what is the income on one share that is 20% of the face value that is 50. So rupees 10 is the income on one share then what is the annual income? annual income is income on one share multiplied by total number of shares. So what is the income on one share? Rupees 10. What is the total number of shares? X. So it is 10X. So this is the annual income but annual income is given as 900. So we can write 10X equals to 900 or X is equals to 90. So the number of shares purchased is 90. So if the number of shares is 90 and the market value is rupees 80, we have the amount invested. So let us write. For the first condition, therefore amount invested. Is the market value of one share that is 80 multiplied by the total number of shares that comes to 90 equals to rupees 7200 so this is the total investment now percentage return on his investment so percentage return so it is income on one share what is the income on one share rupees 10 by the market value 80 in 200 so this comes to 12.5 percent so there it is have a look okay now the next question is a man invests rupees 6750 partly in shares of 6% at rupees 140 and partly in shares of 5% at rupees 125. If his total income is rupees 280, how much has he invested in each? So you have to find the investment in both. Total investment is given. So how much he invested in case 1 and in case 2. And we are given <coughs> the total income is 280. So what should be the criteria of solving this problem that you find the annual income from the first case annual income from the second case the sum of the two is his total income that is 280 so let us 
proceed to find the annual income in both the cases. So in the first case, let his investment be rupees X. In shares of 6% at rupees 140. So here, see, in the previously, as I told you, if the face value is not mentioned in the question, we take, take it as rupees 100. So here, face value equals to rupees 100. Market value is equals to rupees 140. Right? And at 6%, dividend is. 6%. So, we also don't know the number of shares here. So, number of shares is total investment is X, but then number of shares. is the total investment divided by the market value, that is X divided by 140. So now, first we find the income on one share and then the annual income. So what is the income on one share? What is the income on one share? 6% of rupees 100. That is 6% of the face value. That is rupees 6. <clears throat> now what is the annual income? Annual income is income on one share multiplied by the total number of shares. So income on one share is 6 and number of shares is this one. So that is 6 into x by 140. That is 6x by 140. So this is the annual income in the case 1. In case 1, that is the first case. Now we will let us see to the second case. If the investment in the first case is rupees x, the investment in the second case will be 6750 minus x, right? So let us go to the second case. The investment here, I need to six x by just I note down six x by one forty is the income. So here, second case, investment. Sixty-seven fifty minus x. Face value hundred. Market value five percent at rupees one twenty-five. One twenty-five dividend. 5%. Then number of shares is the investment divided by the market value 125. So we got the number of shares. Now you find the income on one share and then the annual income. So income on one share. is 5% of the face value that is 5% of 100 and that is rupees 5 so annual income income on one share multiplied by the total number of shares what is the income on one share rupees 5 multiplied by the total number of shares is 6750 minus x by 125 6750 minus x by 125. So that is equals to 6750 minus x by 25. So now we have the annual income in the first case 
six x by one forty, and annual income income in the second case is sixty seven fifty minus six by twenty five, and the total income that is given in the question is two hundred and eighty. So this plus this income total income from the first case, income from the second case that is equals to two hundred and eighty. So now we have to add this two. So according to the question, six x by one forty plus sixty seven fifty minus x by one uh, by twenty five, and that is equals to two hundred and eighty. So this one you have to solve. Uh, Let us. I am writing the answer directly. Okay, the solution, uh, the calculation, but I am leaving it to you. It will take time. So answer, let me check and tell you. What is to be found? Investment. X is coming to three five zero zero. If you solve this, X is three five zero zero. So the investment in the first case is three five zero zero. The investment in the second case will be sixty seven fifty minus three five. So the first case, the investment is rupees three five zero zero. Second case, investment is rupees sixty seven fifty minus three five zero zero, and that is three two five zero. Right, so we have solved many problems here. So the concept you might by now you have understood how to uh, proceed with the questions. You need to note down the information given in the question and accordingly proceed. So the step by step approach we have already discussed in the right in the beginning. So every question you have to attack it on that basis. It's not that you won't be able to understand, but still there will be certain questions where you need to uh, think. Uh, how to proceed how to approach so but the thinking steps will be remaining the same as we have discussed in the step by step approach just keep those in mind and start solving the questions from the exercise book and have a nice journey